Alright, what is up guys? Jared Campisi. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're back in Dado's garage working on our beautiful our, our beautiful <laughs> Ducati Monster 1200. Um, I think what's on the docket for today is adding the stenciling to the tank along with the clear coat and then maybe clear coating the headlight as well for protection purposes. So I think that's what we're going to be doing again. One of those episodes where I feel like they're, they might be a little bit boring, but you guys said you really enjoyed the last one. Look at that tank under the light. Oh my God. So yeah, I'm excited for this one because after this, we'll be able to start putting the tank back together, put the tank on the bike, and then we're really close to being done with this thing. So sit back, relax, enjoy the video. All right, first step, uh, Dottles throttles, grab some, <laughs> some bolts, uh, just to basically uh, plug up those holes because we want to get clear coat in there as well. The rest of this area is fine if stuff goes in there. Um, and actually, we're going to do stencils before we do the clear coat, but he just wanted to find those bolts a while. Uh, obviously, we'll take this off the bike. Uh, I think we're going to leave the headlight on the bike to do the clear for that, but we'll get to that once we uh, get to that stage. So I think the first thing is going to be look at the stencils and figure out where we're going to put them, and then we can spray those on. We'll have to let those dry, and then we might replace this with a carbon piece while we're waiting for that to dry. And... Uh, Keep rocking and rolling, I'm really excited for this. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I'm really, really happy with how this bike's turning out. And I'm really stoked that everybody's been enjoying it too. Um, we really appreciate that. A lot of time and effort goes into these things and a lot of it's trial and effort and you, trial and error and you don't know how things are gonna look. Um, and by the way, if this headlight, we will test this headlight. If it doesn't, if there's not enough light coming through, we can always sand it down and get it a little bit cl uh, clearer um, before we clear coat it, um, or even after we clear coat it, it doesn't matter, so. All right, so actually before we do anything else, there was some uh, sandblasting particles left over inside the tank. So we're gonna, what, vacuum those out? Is that, is that we're gonna try to do? Yeah, instead of blowing it, I don't want dust getting all over the place. So- I don't know if you can see in there, you can't. Yeah, I'll get a light in there, we'll vacuum it all out, then I'll blow it out. Okay. That way we're not blowing crap all over the place. <laughs> I told Jared, I don't have a paint booth set up right now, but um, it's perfectly fine. I already cleaned my shop out, let everything settle, we're gonna wet the floor. Or we can do it outside. So yeah, we'll either see. one. Yeah. yeah. Okay, <clears throat> so in case you were wondering what we were talking about, those are the leftover sandblasting materials that we were talking about. So we're going to clean all of that stuff out of there, and then it'll be ready to go for the uh, stenciling. Dottles throttles and cleaning. <laughs> Dottles cleaning services. <laughs> yeah, so just sucking everything out of there, making sure the tank is nice and clean. And we'll do this again in the future as well, once we're done with the the stenciling, but we're just trying to get as clean as we possibly can. All right, so after he vacuumed everything he could out of there, we're gonna blow it as well, because it's sticking to the sides and shit in there, and we wanna get this, look at all that coming out. I don't know if you guys can see that on camera, but it's getting pretty dusty in here. Should I open the garage door up? All right. All right, I gotta move the GLE. Let's get a, let's get a start up. Yeah, pretty, uh, Pretty lackluster. <laughs> All right, so we got everything cleaned out of the tank. It feels really good. There's nothing left in there. Um, that was adding um, bolts to all of these different holes. That way the uh, threads don't get screwed up whenever we do the clear coat. Um, but before that, we're actually just going to do the stencil anyway. So we'll go back over and make sure everything's good to go. We got to clean the tank really well. Actually, we got to clean the tank before we do the stenciling. So that'll probably be the next part, right? Clean it up. And it's freaking gorgeous out here right now. 80 degrees in the middle of October in central Pennsylvania. Doesn't happen very often. I think it's supposed to be probably mid 60s, low or high 50s right now. So we're enjoying it while we got it. All right, we're doing the final wipe down. No, we're not. Before the Before stencil. Before the stencil? Yeah. So it's the pre-final. The pre-final wipe down. <laughs> but whenever he shines that or puts that on there, which is the, what is this that you're using? It's like a prep cleaner. Okay. It gets like, like oils. prep all, yeah. We're trying, I told him the thing I'm most worried about is having this thing really, really clean before we do the stencil and and the clear coat. Now there's some imperfections in the metal where that you see- It looks like dirt, but it's not. It's not. Yeah. So it, there are actually tiny little dimples where mm -hmm. typically they cover it with primer mm -hmm. and you don't see them. Mm -hmm. But now that the tank is raw, you'll actually hey, it's see It's all good, those. man. Yeah. It's hand built. You know That's what I'm right. saying? That's right. But yeah, watch how good it looks when he sprays this on there. Look at that. Now we have a satin finish, so ours won't be glossy, but it'll still probably hold on to the light a little bit better. Kind of like it looks in here with the under the fluorescent lights. Um, so it's gonna look, I think it's gonna look incredible when we're done. All right, it's time for the stencil work. So 
Dottle Throttles pulled out his old vinyl. What is this? Um, it's a. This is a, a razor and then a felt squeegee uh -huh. and a pen that doesn't work. <laughs> Luckily, like everything here at Dotto's headquarters, we've got 25 of each. So. A Dynamax pen. Come on, guys. Come on. I, I wonder how old that chapstick is right there. Mm. Oh, does, smells, it, does it work? Smells really good. <laughs> that's actually whiskey. <laughs> that's Oops. whiskey chapstick. That's my wapstick. Wapstick. All right. Um, I want to know, are these all your tractor keys? <laughs> actually, these <laughs> are toolbox keys. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Okay then. A couple of toolboxes here. Uh, nail clippers, a Volkswagen Beetle sharpener. <laughs> You know, all the all the necessities. Okay, actually. find a pen for Christ's sake. All right, we're getting there. He's cutting out the stencil right now. Well, he's cutting off parts of the stencil we don't need, so that we can line this up properly. Um, and then we should be ready to go. If he doesn't screw that up there, I won't. He ripped it. He ripped it. I did so not rip. I didn't he almost, rip it. He almost jabbed me in the dick with his uh, razor. That was nice. Look at him. Dallas bottles and razor dick jabbing. <laughs> All right, next thing we're doing is measuring the center line, how long this line, where we're gonna put the stencils. So it's about 15 inches, so we're doing seven and a half, and then we'll know that's the center. I told Dotto, I think, and him and I both agree, um, I think it, it would look good centered or a little bit forward. The only thing wouldn't look good is if it was too far back. So if you set that on there. Yeah, you can kind of see the letters, how they see are. perfect on here. So if it was centered, it'd be here, which is weird. So we're gonna do probably. Yeah. About there, uh -huh. so probably two thirds of the way on the sticker. I'll measure yep. it out, mm -hmm. so that'll go there. I'll try to line it up at the top as much as possible, and we're gonna follow that line okay. back. All right, it's time. We got everything cleaned and prepped. We got marks for everything, so it's time to add this bad boy on here, and pray to God we got everything right. Look at that. That's gonna be so awesome. Mm -hmm. All right, here we go. Don't Thank screw you. it up, Dotto. That's an asshole. Dottle throttles and prep work. This is like the scariest part probably. Nah. No? Nah. It's pretty Dude, soothing. I already like it. I'm so excited. I think I have that lined up well. Look at that. Look at that. Nice and cleaned. Okay. All right. All right, so start, the people do it different ways. Um, I've seen where people put a piece of tape in the center, do half at a time. I just go to town, right? Make mm -hmm. sure all the bubbles are out that way, make sure they're all out that way, and she's done. Okay. All right, stencils are on. We got this side here, and this side here. And this took some serious time. We, this is probably the most important part of the whole freaking thing, is getting that line right. And since it's curved, it's kind of a bitch. So next thing we're gonna do is mask the whole tank off and then we can uh, spray the paint on and then we'll uh, go from there. All right, we got the whole thing masked and we're ready to do the painting. So yeah, what we got so here? to paint the stencil, I decided I'm not gonna mix up paint because that's almost pointless for like yeah. square, one square inch of lettering. <laughs> so I have this really good duplicolor. Um, it's basically- We tested it out uh, already. Yeah, we tested it out, it's yeah. phenomenal. It's base coat, this stuff is awesome. Um, if you're not using uh, like a like a primer, yeah. If you're not using a primer, if it's going on bare metal, or if you're not using actual paint, thing is, stencil work can be pretty tough because you're going on bare metal. Mm. In our case, mm. we're not going over painted or prime surfaces, mm -hmm. so we're gonna see how that works out. But yeah, this stuff is really good. This is actually for the Mirage paint back in the day. They used to have the chameleon paints and do DIY yeah. kits. Yeah. But this base coat is actually really good. Um, I do have the PPG base coat, but I'm not mixing. Uh -uh. I, you no. know, just for enough for stencil. So uh, we did a test did a run. Test run here. Bare steel, brushed steel, and then look at the matte yeah, finish on that. It turned out really nice. So that's what we're going for right there. Mm -hmm. So here we go. Cross your fingers. All right, dottle throttles and paints. Here we go. No pressure, bud. No pressure. This bud. is probably the most important part, I would say. Here we go. Want to do some thin coats? So that'll probably be it. Wow. For the stencil. Let it dry up. It looks really bit. cool. Same thing over here. Yep.
People said they wanted custom. Yeah. This is as custom as it gets. Um, done. Okay, look at that. Now we let it dry. This All side's right. already dry and check it out. That looks cool. Holy so, shit, that's fast. Yeah. Dude, so that looks. So we don't want to put a layer that's too thick. Yeah. Even, you know, so, so when we peel it off, it's not, you don't see a huge difference of layers of right. paint. So you want just enough paint on there. I may just mist it on just a tiny little bit more, mm -hmm. but I don't know, it looks pretty good to me. All right, so while we're waiting for the paint to dry, slice up some cheese, what is this? Smoked extra sharp cheddar. It's phenomenal. And then Dado mixed us some drinks. We're using the Jim Beam apple, and I think just a little bit of lemonade in there. Lemonade ice, It's yeah. phenomenal, so cheers guys. Let's pray that it turns out all right, huh? All right, here it is folks. Moment of truth. Let's see how it did. God, I'm so scared. Does it matter how you peel this, Dotto? Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh. So far, it looks pretty, pretty, pretty cool, actually. Oh my gosh, look at this. There's a little bit of sticky residue around there, which yeah. I'm not a fan of. Yeah. This is supposed to be low-tack vinyl. Mm-hmm. Um, Will we be able to clean that somehow? I hope so. <laughs> then we have to peel out the middle of the letters. You mean like that? Uh huh. And then isn't the a, doesn't the A have a center mm -hmm. too? Oh my gosh. All right. So unfortunately, when Dotto was trying to clean up around the lettering. Hick, he barely brushed the eye on that side and it the paint came right off and he was like you got to be fucking kidding me obviously we couldn't leave it like that so he washed it and of course the letters came right off so I'm, this vinyl should not be doing that like how, how are we supposed to get the sticky part out of like in between the lettering of this you know um, Dado said maybe if it cures for 24 hours we might be able to wash it and it will stay on there but so that's what we're gonna try to do. He's gonna re-put on this other side off camera. We have one decal. We have left. one decal left. Um, we're gonna tr we're gonna try and redo it. We're gonna let it sit for 24 hours, and then we're gonna try and clean it and see if we can get all the stuff off without peeling peeling the paint off. If that works, great. We can clear it then. If it doesn't work, then we have to have new vinyls made. For some reason, they're really sticky. They yeah, should not so, be leaving a residue so this like this. this was supposed to be a low-tack vinyl yeah. for the stencils. And yeah. it didn't feel like it when I was peeling it off the mm -hmm. thing, which is kind of... Red flag number one. Yeah, but yeah. I mean, we're not gonna stop doing it, so. Yeah. Long story short, we're probably gonna have to get these made. and Remade. See they're, they're pretty, that's pretty sticky. Mm -hmm. So... We probably gonna have sure. to get them remade in a what low happened? tack. Yep, even more low tack. Yeah, this is my life, guys. You know, I get a car. It's got transmission issues. Got, it's got orange peel paint issues. You know, I order snow tires. I get the wrong sizes. The, like people say, like, oh, what are you talking about? You have a great life. Yes, I do, but I do have bad luck. Like, it's why? Why is this happening? You know, why? We would, have, we would have been done. We could have, we'd be clearing it right now and it would be done. But mm -hmm. unfortunately now we might be back to square one. We have to clean the whole fucking thing off, order all new vinyls and redo it all next week. So that's the way it goes. It's, it's all good. I'm not going to say that we're not frustrated because we are. It's a lot of time and work. We've been at it for probably three hours today. It, it, to you guys it's 20 minutes, but it's a lot of time for us. So yeah, that's what we're going to do off camera. We're going to redo that left hand side, right hand side. And uh, it is what it is. So. I'm having issues with some gas leaks at my house right now, so I gotta go home and work on the fire bowls with my pops, who just came in. But um, that's where this video is gonna end, so I really was hoping that the clear coat would be on today and we could start reassembly, but unfortunately that's not gonna happen, so that's the way it goes. Everybody wants custom work, this is what happens when you do custom work. Unforeseen things happen, and uh, there's nothing we can do about it. So thank you guys for watching. Um, we're gonna keep working off camera and try to do the best we can. I'll keep you guys updated. Stay tuned. Peace.